The next feature we'll be discussing is the Contacts button. That will give us a list of all the extensions in our company, any phone numbers of regular callers you might need to call, uh, like vendors or whatever, and that's more of a global address book, and then any personal entries you might put in for your wife, your kids, uh, your favorite place for lunch, etc. So let's proceed. By pressing the Contacts button, the names in the database will be uh, stored uh, alphabetically. You can scroll through the names and then press the call button to call them, or you can start entering their name uh, just by using the number pad. So if we wanted to look up a Vince, for example, we would type in V I N, and right away we get Vince Candela, and we can decide to call him. We can also clear it to go back to the beginning, and let's say we wanted to look up a bill. Well, no, we have two bills in the system, so here's what happens. Just uh, B I L. The two bills are now here, and you can choose which bill it is, and then call. It's that simple. Let's call Bill Merle. So that's all you have to do to call. To add a contact, all you need to do is press the New key, start entering the name. You hit it multiple times to get to a certain name. We'll call Chris. This one's Chris. I'll hit the R three times get to R, I, and S. Then use the down arrow to get to the number. If it's an outside line, we'll dial 9 first, and then the phone number with the area code. Or if it's just an extension, we'll dial the extension number. And hit Save. The next feature we'd like to show you is the Redial button. It's the soft key right in the display. It shows you a list of all the calls you've made recently and when you called them. If you need further information about the various call, you can highlight it and then press the Details button. It'll tell you exactly when you called it, what date, and how long the call was, which is quite useful for if you need to bill for a consulting call of some kind. You can go back to the list and scroll down if you'd like. To call back, the number, call them again. All you have to do is press call. And we'll call again. Note that it also tells you how many times you've called that caller. So we've called John Adams 10 times. To get back to the main screen, we can either hit the exit or we can hit the phone key. The phone key acts as more or less a home button like you would have on your computer or maybe an escape key. No matter where you're at, if you're unfamiliar and not on your normal setup screen, you can hit the phone button and it will get you back to the, the home page, as we call it. Another feature that comes in handy a lot is the history button. It's very much like your cell phone. It can show you calls you've missed. If you use the left right arrow key, it can show you calls you've that have come in that you've answered or not answered, any outgoing calls you've made, all of them together, and then back to missed again. You can scroll through it. So in case you've missed a call, this red light down here will be lit up. By pressing it, you'll get all of these. As long as there's something in here you haven't seen, the red light will be on. Now that we've scrolled through and we've realized all the calls that we've uh, we've that we've seen all the calls that have come in the red light goes out so scrolling through them basically acknowledges that you've seen them and the red light goes out and that means there's no more calls you can call back the person you've missed by simply highlighting their name and pressing the OK button and it'll call them getting using the phone button is like using the escape again it'll get you back to the main screen now you note your red light under the history button here is not red lit red anymore if it were lit red, that means you and you went away from your desk for a while and you came back and you saw it was red. That means that a call has come in while you're away and you can light it up and see which call came in and at what time. Um, very much similar to your cell phone. And if they did not leave you a voicemail message, you can still see who called and perhaps call them back if you think they're still at their desk. Back to the phone key. If you wanted to clear this screen, you can hit that. And you can just delete the one entry or do more and delete all. So now we'll demonstrate to get your redial back. We'll call somebody. They'll answer. It'll say connected. 
call has been completed. Now you notice your Redale light is on and your history has something in it again. Go back to the home screen. You can use the Redial and call them back. Or you can go to the history. Delete all. It goes away. And now you also do not have a Redial button again because your history has been clicked.